Whoa! Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Wooly Coats MK2 Spanky by Third Power. Uh, I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording it. Um, couldn't be simpler. Uh, I, this is my Les Paul um, standard and in the bridge, this is a DiMarzio PAF Master, but in the neck, this is actually a third power pickup. It's called the uh, Magfrag that, that Jamie, the, the president, genius, inventor of third power <laughs> built. It's a really amazing pickup, but that's for another time. Uh, but running this Les Paul directly into the woolly coats with a uh, Klotz cable. We're, uh, right now, it came in flat, basically, uh, but we'll change as we go. Miking with a Royer R121 mic, and it's going to an FG Quartet and into Pro Tools. So just guitar, cable, amp. Um, also, a little bit later on, I'll be playing my old 55 Strat, so you can see what the old single coil thing sounds like. So let me tell you a little bit about, um, about this amp. Uh, a lot of you have probably heard of Third Power if you're a gear geek. You might remember they, they came out with this triangular cabinet that almost kind of reproduces the way a, a mixing room in a studio uh, is designed with no, um, no right angles so sound works better. I'm not a scientist, <laughs> I don't know how it works, but he kind of integrated that into speaker cabinets and made a big splash. And this amplifier is his newest invention, and it's kind of, on the surface, as you can tell, it's kind of got a little bit of a Fender blackface thing to it, but it goes well beyond that. Um, Third Power is a very exacting company. Jamie's a very exacting person who, uh, who I hung out in the studio the other day when I picked this up, and he, he's one of those guys that kind of sees sound and, and can can get into nuance unlike me. Uh, and he kind of painstakingly went through every ingredient of the amp to find what sounds the best. And it's a really impressive amp. So let me tell you about the, uh, the basics. In front you've got two inputs like that. Volume, which I'm running pretty hot right now, about three quarters. Treble, mid, and bass. Before I go any further, let me tell you about this mid. This is an extended mid-range. And uh, it's, it's kind of where the money is. Um, let me dial this back a little bit and you can sort of hear it. Now, guitar is a mid-range instrument. And uh, a lot of us spend a lot of time, when I was younger, I put in all this bottom end because I wanted to sound big. But all that did is effectively undermine my mid-range. Mid-range is where it should live to cut through a mix. It might sound great all alone in a room, but in a band, you need that mid-range kick. So this extended mid-range has all of that. So here I am, the bridge. You can see why he calls it the spanky. It's got some spank. But when you pump that up, let's just go ahead and dime that pig. It's a subtle difference, but the great thing about it, it's more present to me without having that high-end, you know, pain to it. On the neck, equally cool. Nice, right? So if this is my amp, I probably would leave it a little goosed up there, which I'll do for now. Bass and treble do what bass and treble do. We don't need to beat that to death. This hybrid master is great because although this is just an 18 watt amp, man, there is a lot of power in this thing. If I leave this thing wide open, I mean, it is loud, man. I won't... That's with the volume on about 
three, and it is really clean and punishingly loud if you want it to be. What a great clean tone. But if we bring this down a little bit, then we can kind of see what this does when you give it some dirt. When I came in, I was around half, and with this guitar, it's just starting to get a little bit dirty. But the great thing is you can kind of work that volume and get all this expression, you know. So what a sweet tone, huh? Just starting to get there. Now, if we dime this pig, you've got a full rock and roll thing going. Really versatile. Now, if I were to bring the uh, the master up, it would be punishingly loud. Um, and again, 18 watts, but a really efficient 18 watts. Why don't I put on a Strat and you can hear what it does with single coils. So now we're in Strat land, same settings as before. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> About this amp you really get the personality of a guitar that sounds really stratty the other one sounded really less poly um, some amps can't tell it's all just kind of one big mud ball but very cool uh, now let me tell you some of the details before I forget it's hand built here in Nashville love that and I've been to the plant and you can see they're actually they are making almost everything you can um, things they're not making however are the speaker this is an eminence 12 inch uh, Alessandro speaker. Alessandro, you might have remembered from the pig, uh, rig rundown on Tedeschi trucks. He had built their amps. So, very cool ingredient right there. There's other little details like I looked at the inside and Jamie had put this, I think, kind of an aluminum bar in front of the 12x7s to keep any of the vibration from like kick drums or anything from upsetting the the speakers. It's that kind of detail that is so next level and, uh, and cool. I mean, I love that he cares about things like that and thinks about things like that. He, of course, is a musician and uh, engineer and he kind of knows uh, a loud kick drum will affect your, your tubes. Pretty cool. 
I might be giving away a trade secret, but there it is. Also, this comes with a really lush tube spring reverb. Let me dial this down a little bit so you can kind of hear how this thing goes. I'm running it pretty hot just because it sounds so good, but it's a very lush. Lush, right? Uh, you can control it, of course, with this happy little fellow right there. And I like that everything is just built well, like, you know, like he cares. And I think that's part of the deal, too. Jamie got his start um, in gear design, designing stuff for other companies. And he told me that, he said, you start with a great idea and it sounds great. And then, you know, when you sell to a bigger company, they're concerned about the bottom line. So, of course, they they might not use the premium parts that you used on you know your prototypes and so and they might not feel like you lose anything or whatever you lose is worth it but he uh he all i have to say when it comes to his own gear he's not skipping any um skipping any steps or 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 going the cheaper route or anything all the ingredients are really you know top shelf speaking of american parts he only uses uh premium american-made hayboard transformers throughout um, there's a dual 6v6 output tubes, a 5U4 rectifier tube. Things pretty much built like a tank. So to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. We'll keep you up to date on all the cool gear that's out there. This is John Bolger for next. Till, uh, till next time. I'm just going to dime these uh, controls, see what happens. <laughs>